And now you departed for Berkeley at some point. Yeah, I went to Berkeley as a postdoc. It was the Miller Fellowship. When the offer came, I called up my father and said, uh, looks like, like I have a job for next year. And he said, well, well and good. Uh, what are you going to be doing? And I said, I'm going to be a Miller. And he said, at last you're going to have a real job? Going back to Pronkare, I'd been interested in residues. And it was an algebraic way of looking at Hodge theory, if you like, via residues. The formulas were particularly nice for projective space, so I just wrote that up and sent it to the annals and came back uh, saying, this paper has a really nice result in it, but it's a Stone Age uh, presentation. You independently discovered, I think, the result about uh, representing uh, cohomology classes with algebraic forms. That's right. It was not formulated in, you know, a modern way. But the what's called the algebraic Durham theorem has an interesting history. It was proved by Picard for algebraic surfaces. It's a very beautiful argument. And in the Berkeley seminar, I had extended that argument to general to the general case. You've proved some extraordinary theorems. You've had some amazing students. You've brought the Institute of Advanced Study forward. You've helped to found all these Millennium Institutes all over the world. And so I really only have one question for you, and that is, what constitutes a really good martini? Very dry. So classical? Yes, the classical one. And that I learned from Don Spencer, who oh. had his martini called a birdbath because he liked the, the large one.